today let's take up cash flow statement and uh, we'll start with financing activities now first of all uh, financing activities you should know are uh, those activities which are related to the changes in the owner's capital and borrowings of the enterprise right so uh, this is the owner's capital and long term borrowings of the enterprise right so uh, things like your share capital um, debentures long term loans all these things comes under financing activities now first of all let's look at what are the items that will come under the financing activities right <coughs> cash flow from financing activities right now first of all you take proceeds from issue of shares and debentures then proceeds from other long term borrowings final dividend paid interim dividend paid all the dividends paid is a part of financing activity interest on debentures and loans paid <coughs> repayment of loan redemption of debentures or preference shares shared issue expenses and any other extraordinary item uh receipt or payment plus or minus right so these are the things that we will put under cash flow from financing activities quite simple as compared to your operating activities or investing activities uh, now i'll take up a small example Okay, let's take up this. From the following information, calculate the net cash flow from financing activities. The particulars given here. For two years, thirty first March two thousand twelve and thirty first March two thousand thirteen. Right. Now here you have been given equity share capital. Now that's given as nine lakh, ten lakh. Securities premium reserve. Two lakh fifty thousand. Two lakh sixty thousand. Twelve percent debentures. This is one lakh fifty thousand and one lakh. Now the additional information that is given is. interest paid on debentures is 18000 so a very small question in which you have the uh, information from the balance sheet plus one additional information 
Now you see here that the equity share capital as on 31st March <coughs> 2012 was 9 lakh and ma March 31st March 2013 it is 1 lakh. So that means issue of share capital is 1 lakh. Now whenever you have the securities premium reserve, the securities premium reserve is also taken as a part of your issue of equity shares because that is related to your equity shares right. So, this 2,50,000, 2,60,000, so this is a difference of 10,000 that will be added to the issue of equity shares, right. And here you see 12 percent debentures, initially it was 1,50,000, now it is 1 lakh, so that has reduced. So, that means it is a redemption of debentures and interest paid on debentures, fine. Now, see. <coughs> cash flow from financing activities fine now the first thing i'll write is issue of equity shares issue of equity shares here i can put it as including securities premium reserve right that is 10000 and here it is 1 lakh so the total amount this is a inflow when you issue share capital you get money right and then you have redemption of debentures redemption of debentures whenever you redeem de debentures or preference shares you have you are paying back to the debenture holders so earlier it was 1 lakh 50000 now it is 1 lakh means 50000 has been redeemed that is a outflow right interest on interest paid on debentures now interest paid on debentures you are again paying to the debenture holders it is an outflow so that is 18000 rupees right that's all we have in this nothing else so the net cash flow from financing activities is 110000 minus 68000 which comes to 42,000. That is it, right. Now, I will take up one more question. Calculate the cash flow from financing activities <coughs> you have been given <coughs> particulars 31st March 2011 and 31st March 2012 right here it is given equity share capital ten lakh and twelve lakhs right then you have 10 percent debentures, 2 lakhs and 3 lakhs, right. Now, additional information here is interest paid on debentures 22,000, dividend paid is rupees 48,000, right. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, further it is given during the year 
2011-12, the company issued bonus shares in the ratio of 5 is to 1 by <coughs> capitalizing the reserve. Now, this is the question you have to find out the cash flow from financing activities. Now, here you can see that the equity share capital has increased from 10 lakh to 12 lakhs, but this uh, information that is given, they are saying that the company issued bonus shares in the ratio of 5 is to 1. That means, a shareholder who is holding 5 shares will be given 1 share as bonus share. Bonus share is given by way of capitalizing the reserve, right. So, remember that whenever the company issues bonus shares, it will not be considered as issue of equity share capital. I mean, in the, in the cash flow statement, it will not be considered because that is not real cash flow. They are issuing the shares by capitalizing the reserve, right. So, 10 lakh was the share capital initially. If you put the ratio of 5 is to 1, for 10 lakh, it will be 2 lakhs, 5 is to 1. The ratio of 5 is to 1, right. So, here I have 10 lakhs means the bonus shares will be issued as 2 lakhs, that will be 5 is to 1, right. So, <coughs> this uh, increase that is happening from 10 lakh to 12 lakh, this is because of the bonus shares, it will not come in the cash flow statement. Now, the other things you have here is 10 percent debentures, this is issue of debentures, right. So, now let us come here, issue of debentures, that is how much? 1 lakh. So, this is a inflow, right. Interest paid on debentures, dividend paid, both are outflows. Interest paid on debentures and dividend paid, right. <coughs> now, they have just said dividend paid. In some of the questions, uh, they give something like interim dividend on equity shares, dividend on preference shares. So, all the dividends which are related to your shares will be put as a outflow, fine. So, interest on debentures is how much? 22,000. So, this will be <coughs> 22,000 and dividend paid is 48,000, right. So, that is it. So, this is 1 lakh minus 70,000. So, the answer is 30,000. This is the net cash flow from financing activities, right. So, uh, that is all we have in financing activities. We have done all the three activities, operating activities, investing and financing activities separately. Now, in our next sessions, we will take up some uh, examples in which we will have all the activities and uh, you will have to come to the um, cash and cash equivalence, right, okay. So, a complete questions on cash flow statements with adjustments and without adjustments will do. So, today I will end this session for financing activities. <coughs>